All right, yo, 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 it's your boy Yoshi Kid Neo, and we're back in the world of Borodil, the ruination of Borodil, and today is, uh, I believe, session 35. Wild stuff. We're really getting up there, uh, almost halfway to 100. So, that's pretty neat. I think we've been playing for a little, little less than a year, maybe a little, somewhere around the year mark now. So I need to see exactly when we started, because I think it was in February we started this campaign, uh, and we've made decent progress for sure. I believe, what is there, 50-something weeks in a year, which means that we've almost played every week, but obviously we skip some, uh, especially around the holidays. I think we skipped like three or four, so... But anyway, uh, today's session should be pretty fun. Uh, it's going to be a lot of RP. There should be a one-on-one -on -one battle between uh, Lightbringer and some other person that will be revealed later. Uh, essentially, this is going to be the build-up of the entity that hates Lightbringer. Uh, and then the last thing I'll mention is that my camera is kind of jacked up right now. I don't know what's going on, so I'm trying to get that fixed, but... More than likely, we'll just have to deal with the kind of weird uh, aesthetic that it's going to be giving us. I might actually just make it kind of weird. Yeah, it, it'll be strange today, but that's okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and... Yeah, you can't even really tell. It's fine. It's fine. It's whatever. Oh, well, you mean them adding the CGI shit. <laughs> what? Yeah. You mean them? You mean them adding the CGI shit? Not well. I mean, not necessarily not CGI, CGI, but like, but... like the the like the, like the, the not hand drawn cells, like the anim, like the uh, digital. Uh, Is that what you mean? Or... No, I'm talking about like the art, like the artwork style. It's different, and I don't know which one's technically closer to the actual manga or whatever. But I liked the old style of the first two seasons better. Like I'm, wa I'm, I'm watching a clip of from right now, and I don't see much different other than they they have like the computer generated models for stuff Cause sometimes. I, yeah, because I know uh, Madhouse wasn't able to do third in this final season. At all. Jeff, have you not with, watched like, the and stuff. anime? I've watched parts of it. I watched up to like uh, where they got to the water, and okay. uh, and then. But I, I read all of it, so I, I know what happened. But I'm just looking. I'm looking at the art style, and it's not that much different. The only thing I see different is that they're adding more com computer generated models now. I mean, I it's different. I see a difference, but a little bit, maybe. Uh, maybe I see the flashbacks. I guess. Is the ending shitty or good? I'm not saying shit. Well, at least give us your. your... No. <laughs> Gonna, no, <laughs> you gotta wait. <laughs> we'll talk about it. God All damn right, it. that's fair. <laughs> uh, I've, I've been paying attention to this shit since it first came out. I had to wait this long. <laughs> you, you guys gotta wait too. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could technically spoil it for myself, but I don't really want to. No, don't do that. You wait too mean, long. The, the written source is always better, but. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, last time we left our friend fellows, uh, you guys. <laughs> uh, four minutes. All right, not too long. Uh, regardless, <laughs> enough for everybody to be just like, well, if the, anyone's watching, they're just sitting me or seeing me like stare at the screen, <laughs> <laughs> listening to us talk about attack on Titan, which is perfect, perfectly splendid. Uh, anyway, you guys had gotten on to a, uh, airship in the, let me actually go. Let, let's do this. Let's go to the world map. You guys got on an airship in Carbagate, which is in the northern region of the Coral Highlands. Uh, in order to take transport to the mainland, uh, in order to get away from the ancient Leshen, a creature that 
Uh, you guys helped unleash until you realized what kind of was about to happen, and then you kind of stopped, but then Natasha was able to uh, finish the job for you guys, so it really didn't matter at that point. Um, you guys had served her uh, for what she needed you. So now this ancient lesson is about to wreak havoc on all of these settlements on Dinosaur Island, uh, which is bad. Not good. Not good for business. So you guys were able to escape to the Coral Highlands, grab an airship, and start heading... At least you were going to head to the mainland, but Jimothy made a very good point. You guys could still go get your reward for destroying the Glavinus, uh, which is well-deserved, especially after losing two lives to the Glavinus. But you could also get so much more, uh, because corpses can't say no, unless a necromancer's around, uh, which you guys haven't met that NPC yet, so... Uh, Dude. But can't say that on a live stream. I mean, you can when it's related to D&D. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right. Uh, anyway, so you guys uh, had a uh, even-sided vote on whether you go to the mainland or go uh, to Gamderal. And I think the tiebreaker, I believe it went to Lightbringer. Um and he decided that, you know what, money is good for the party, so let's go get some money. So you guys started to go to Gamderal with the help of uh, a group of gnomes and Lilith Hart, uh, one of the witches that lives in the Coral Highland region. On your way, uh, Lilith is the, control the current controller of a artifact known as the Deck of Everything. And... Her whole goal is to get as many people to draw as many cards as possible. And I believe you guys drew like 12 or 13 cards. It was 19, which is, dude. It was 19? Damn. It was either 19, 19 or 18. Way too many. A bunch, a bunch of cards where the worst thing that happened, I think, technically, was someone lost a level. Some equipment Me. was lost. Ugh. Someone had to fight death. An aspect of death, by the way. That wasn't oh, actual yes. death. Actual death is much more difficult. Uh, I think I believe a devil hates somebody that also worships a devil. Um, there's going to be some bad deals happening at some point in time. Uh, you know. But a lot of good happened as well. We got some more experienced characters. We got some neato magical gifts. Uh, somebody got richer. Uh, somebody has some folks looking to obtain her heart, <laughs> <Not positive. laughs> which, <laughs> which one of them actually came by like moments after the card was drawn and dropped off a bag of sensu beans, um, which are pretty neat for healing. Uh, they work much like a potion, by the way, so... If you use it on yourself, bonus action. If you use it on someone else, it has to be an action. Super easy. Anyway, you guys were coming into Gamderall, coming in hot. And I say that because the whole town's on fire. And you could see a dark column of smoke coming from the uh, cliffside encampment. And as you guys got closer and closer, you could see the utter destruction that has... Uh, fallen upon the dwarven settlement very unfortunate as you guys land uh, the gnomes uh, start to depart uh, and they already see exactly which um, airship they're going to take a, it's a much larger airship uh, looks to be looks like it has like uh, cabins available so everyone can have their own room or something like that uh, but Gredmer, the heavily armored uh, gnome, has told you guys that they should be able to get this airship up and running in five to ten minutes. So that's essentially all the time you have, or I guess that's the least amount of time that you have to go looting corpses uh, to get as much money as possible before uh, you're even able to leave. But on the way down from the plank... 
Trina uh, takes note of Lilith Hart in her bird form. Lilith Hart goes first and leaves the airship, uh, and there's crows everywhere, which, as you all remember, crows are what the or one of the creatures that the ancient Leshen has control over. Oh. And Lilith Hart is able to talk to said crow, and Trina was able to understand said crow. And she said something along the lines of, uh, retrieve your master, and started to giggle and walk off into the smoke. Were you about to say something, Jeff? I said, caca. Oh. Caca! Uh, so, Trina, uh unmorphed with Beltran and told you guys uh, we do not have much time because she just told that crow to go get uh, the ancient lesson and bring it here essentially at least that's uh, what it seems like who knows there's no telling but we'll find out on this episode I'm just joking uh, so that's where we begin uh, so let me do let me do this not so sweet life Oh, lovely. Uh, yeah, oh, so you guys oh, enter Gamgarol. Yeah, kind of. I tried to make it look like, uh, I don't know, live fire as best I can, but I don't think the effect exists, so I had to I think it looks make great. Do. Yeah, oh, thank us. you. Let me see. I think I've got... A fire sound? Oh, I want to try... Yeah. <laughs> I've got exploration Oof. sounds that sound that it says I was it's gonna start tense. Playing through the fire and the flames. <laughs> we didn't start the fire. Let's <laughs> imagine Brady going N -n -n no, <laughs> and then not playing the music. <laughs> There's a song that I have called Fire and Ash, but it's not playing for some reason. And that's upsetting. Oh, well, uh, anyway. Is your thing still so not working with your old playlist? No, this one was actually a, uh, a module that I downloaded. So in theory, all of these sounds should just work. But it's mm. not for whatever reason. And I don't know why. But that's okay. I will play a different song, I guess. I've noticed that the module song, songs don't usually uh, work as well. I think... Oh, I've got a hell theme. That'll work for now. Unless this plane of fire is better. The screaming, the scream, ambient screaming in the background I think really makes it, you know? Because some of these people will probably still be alive. Maybe. This works, though. My My there leg. we go. All right, perfect. So you guys hear the roaring fire, uh, and you, and I guess to uh, remind you guys, the... Oh, that's perfect, too. The, uh, the dock for all these airships is sort of built on the split in the cliff. So... When you're looking at the cliff side, there's a large split in the middle, or at some point in it, and it goes pretty deep, a couple hundred feet at least. And on the sides is where the docks are sort of built up and sort of on the outskirts. Uh, so you guys are docked on the outskirts. And when you get off, you're on the top level, so you don't have to climb stairs in order to get to, uh, you know, I guess the ground level in order to be where the guild hall and tinker workshop and stuff like that is uh all along the docks you do see uh-oh oh. that was kevin uh anyway along the docks you do see uh corpses um if anyone wishes to make a medicine check if you are proficient you can or investigation check if you're not proficient in medicine. Oof. Ain't nobody proficient in medicine. Whoa, and then. Medicino. Damn. Ooh. 
Jim's like, fuck it, I want money. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, none of y'all are proficient in medicine for real? Uh oh. What? Medicine? Nope, none of you. What does being a warlock mean? Not healing other people? Medicine, what? medicine doesn't mean like healing. Two years ever asked for a medicine check. Why would we pick it? What do you mean? First of all, medicine also helps if you don't have a healer's kit when somebody needs to be stabilized. But you guys oh. usually don't try to stabilize people anyway. So. <laughs> oh, Brady. Oh, I you know just either talking. heal them or let them die. <laughs> you're, you're talking about no. that new mechanic, that new healing Wait, mechanic that I came out our, last, uh... last edition, right? No, 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 no. You no? Know, damn not, not, well, that, not that new healing mechanic? Know. Just saying, no. even if they're stabilized, almost every time, no one's died because of death saves yet. People die because I thought, they get I'm just saying, our true personalities around. come out with the fact that none of us actually are proficient in medicine because we don't really care about saving people. <laughs> Bray, you can't just throw these new mechanics at us. Come on. You know, uh, I yeah. played a... Uh, Paladin to heal people, but then you guys just let him die immediately. Yeah, that was wild. Uh, Kevin, now that you're back, uh, if you want to roll an investigation check as you guys are coming off of the dock. Okay. Uh, but we'll go ahead. Tolktir and Trina, you guys notice a couple of things about the corpses. Uh, you notice that some of the corpses, uh, they've got, you know, couple crows that are picking at the flesh and with that when you look at the crows uh, the crows ha are actually lined with multiple eyes they don't just have the two eyes that a normal crow does uh, but they're also not a three-eyed raven because this isn't uh, a poorly written script um, based on Game of Thrones uh, trust me don't read the books uh, you won't find any similarities here um, there's nothing to worry about. I've got it all under control. Just kidding. Anyway, uh, there's five eyes to these ravens. And they're on also oddly side, shaped. Or like two on one? Uh, or is it like uh, in an arc? Essentially two, two on each side and one sort of in the middle uh, towards the okay. base of the beak. That's weird. The five-eyed ravens because three-eyed ravens was taken. Um... <laughs> So that's one thing you notice, and that's only on a few of the corpses. Some of the other co corpses you can see are uh, sort of smoldering. Uh, they've got smoke coming off. You can see that their flesh and their armor and clothing has been melted um, by some type of extreme heat. Uh, Hence the fire oh. that's all around. Mm. Uh, let's see. Babushka. We didn't see the use fire, right? You did not. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Uh, Babushka, as you're going around, uh, you see that, uh, and Babushka, anything that anyone else sees at this point, Tolktir and Trina, you saw as well. Uh, you do notice that all of these dwarves and, uh, you see also some scattered corpses of coal bulbs. Oh. All of them are armed. And it looks as if they may have been fighting off of uh, fighting some creature. Or there's evidence that you can see that they were fighting amongst each other. Uh, Lightbringer and Jim, uh, you guys notice the first pouch of gold. And Money. Jim probably would pick it up. Uh, Lightbringer, you would pick up one as well. Uh, and they are measly silver coins. Uh, uh. Both of you get 30 silver coins each. I guess there's better than nothing. No. Not really. Rails is around here. Should we? Where's the guild where they have all the? 
Dusty uh, comes off of the ship and uh, points inward, uh, writes a message real quick, and hands it to you, Jimothy. Um, the guild is at the end of the dock uh, on the left-hand side of the chasm, so you'll need to cross the bridge. Except for the bridge doesn't exist anymore, it seems. I'll fly. Just kidding. I'll... <laughs> Oh, the belt of dwarven kind doesn't make me fly. Oh yeah, and just everyone would know this. Uh, uh, Jimothy, when he pulled his card, a belt of dwarven kind dropped in his lap. Ah, uh -huh. I see. You're Which so is jealous. really neat. Can, Can you roll me? Uh, oh, I mean, yeah, if I'm he rolling. draws another bad card, a five. Neat. Uh, so, you guys noticed at this very point in time, uh, as Jimothy turns around after looking at uh, the coin pouch and grabbing it, he was clean shaven when he got off of the ship, and he turns around and now he has a full beard, uh, actually resembling the thickness of Tolkien's beard. I say in Dwarvish, like I didn't even like bat an eye and say... Uh, when did I... Oh, this must be from the belt. I, I speak back to you. This is, uh, the what? Oh. You speak Dwarvish? <laughs> I guess I do now. I didn't... Uh, excuse me. And I switch back to common. Oh, this belt's pretty neat. Uh, I would normally grill you for questions, but we, we should get out of here as fast as possible. Oh, you know, uh, you saw me get it from the card. Yes, yes, but time wasting. Me no want die. Let's go. Fair. All right. Um, how big is this gap between that the bridge used to be? Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Hmm. Yep. I'm kidding. I'm not jumping across the. 30 feet chasm as a three foot hobbit. Uh, I'm gonna turn into Beltran again, so I'll just fly across. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's so this? Yeah, route? as you guys are. <laughs> oh, neat. Oh, can you put me in the bag of holding and I'll go with you as you fly with Beltran? You'll die in the bag of holding. I can hold my breath. I mean, I guess. Okay. Just oh, let me out pretty quick. Could I'll she throw him in the bag of holding and tie something? Tie it around something? Uh, so Beltran, or before you go into Beltran, you stuff Jimothy in the bag of holding. Possible. Uh, Jimothy, because you're not being suddenly suffocated, you're able to hold your breath, I believe based on your con score so five minutes i think that's what it, the rule is i don't remember yeah, it doesn't matter so. uh anyway uh jimothy takes in a breath hops in the bag of holding trina magically turns into beltran and flies over the chasm uh babushka is over here holding rope like i've got rope <laughs> Which yeah, there are the plenty rope. of spots where you could uh, tie the rope off and <gasps> possibly swim all right. across. I'm gonna After get all, there the was a bridge there at one over. point. Okay. I'll so Jim's that. out of the bag, and then I'll go back for the rope, and I'll bring it over to Jim. So two trips. Okay. Since it's two trips, can I pick up <laughs> a weapon from one of those dead bodies? Sure. Oh, yeah, uh, what too. mundane weapon would you like? Oh. You have axes, you have swords, you have Battle spears. For Jimothy. Okay. Jimothy will get a normal battle axe. I have one in my inventory. Which I will put on your... Oh, beautiful. I could take another hand. Uh, the one thing that you don't see, uh, Babushka, is there is a lack of rapiers. Uh, okay. There are some heavy crossbows lying around. There's a couple light crossbows. Um. 
<laughs> I don't know if that was not a sound bite. Are you okay? No, it was a sound bite, but okay. yeah, I didn't expect it to be that fucking loud. My bad. <laughs> I was halfway expecting Stone Cold to come on. <laughs> oh shit, you right. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, as Babushka hands the rope to Beltran, flies across, magically transforms back into Trina, pulls Jimothy out. Uh, Jimothy grabs the rope. I don't know where else you guys are going with this, uh, but you hear the smashing of glass coming from behind you, uh, Trina and Jimothy. And then you hear a bunch of mum uh, muttering going on. Uh, let me see. If anyone can read nope. that, let me know. Mm -hmm. Nope. You said yes, Jeff? Uh-uh. No, nope. Oh. No, no. No, no. Okay, so no one understands a word of what's being spoken. Uh, but there's... It, it's, it sounds kind of high-pitched uh, when it's said. Oh, so you can see what it says. Like yeah, what? See the okay, okay. But no you don't actually what see is. what I'm saying. Okay, beautiful. Nope. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's pretty cool. I think it is. And they all look different, which is really cool, yeah. They, yeah, you they can did tell it's different, different languages, but... Mm -hmm. Super cool. I need to add Dwarvish to mine. Oh, it is. I, yeah, I think I on a read because I can't speak in Dwarvish right now, but that's not important. We'll figure that out later. Yeah. Uh, uh, so, yeah. You hear some muttering going off. I say, uh, he hello. Ah! And then you hear them speak in that uh, tongue again. And you can hear uh, the clicking of crossbow bolts. Like being placed into crossbows? Yes. Um, I say, hey guys, get ready for a fight. Uh, and I turn around and I put my hands up like, hey, hey, it's okay, it's okay. And then... Uh, uh, Go ahead, during Jeff. This time, during this time, uh, Lightbringer and I are still across, and Bimbobushka are all across the way, right? We haven't Correct. ventured. Um, I am trying to find somewhere to tie the rope. Super easy. It's done. Okay. Okay. And during this time, could we try and cross? Or at least I could try and cross. Sure. Uh, I will have you roll a thing. Uh, depending on how it is you're crossing. So, uh, Trina, when you when you tie off the rope, do you do it more as a tight rope or do you do it as a swingy rope? Um, this is the best or you do half and half. Or... A tight rope, perfect. Uh, Tolk Tear, as she throws the other side to you, uh, which you are able to find something to tie it off, uh, as you try your best to go across the tightrope, I need a acrobatics check. So Tolk Tier somehow is very nimble uh, and goes across the tightrope uh, relatively easy. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna... I think I have another rope in my bag. I'm going to mage hand and throw another rope on the other side to them. So they have two ropes. Okay. So they give the other side of the rope. They tie that second rope off. And then uh, now I'll have whoever comes next roll acrobatics, but with advantage since there's two ropes. <laughs> Babushka, 
very easily. Uh, doesn't even need your second rope. And as she gets to the other side, she kind of scoffs like pathetic. I'm just joking. I don't know how Babushka would do that. Back and <laughs> on purpose, she does a flip. <laughs> uh, that's just part of the sound clip or the sound file. Oh, okay. Wait. I wasn't sure if that meant that something was getting closer. <laughs> Uh, Lightbringer casts fly on himself. Okay, Lightbringer is not having any of y'all's shit. Uh, he <laughs> starts to, or he casts his spell and then uh, just comes on over, landing uh, right where you guys are. You could do that the whole time. Yeah. You so long. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Do what exactly? I don't know. Fly. <laughs> oh, I dare not kiss and tell. Okay. But you literally what just do? did it. What do? Uh, it was all what in do? your head. Huh? Uh, Lightbringer, there's things here talking to, at us. <laughs> okay. Look, like look, 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 look. New servants! New servants for her! Yes, yes! New servants for her! Huh. As, as you guys look where the broken glass came from, uh, you see a couple pairs of yellow eyes looking back at you from the sort of dark interior of a building that has sort of crumbled to ash already. You come to serve? Yes, serve her. How many serve our queen. I say, um, I am here to serve D's. Oh boy. Uh, you see oh eight God. pairs of yellow eyes uh, oh, all on the other side of this window. And one of them goes, hmm, D's not here. No, no, her, Nimra. And they, I... all the eyes kind of blink. We've never heard of these nuts. <laughs> I kind of look left and right at everybody. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I'm just going to cast a level four sleep. I want to get out of here on them. Damn. Oh, bit. No information. He is not All fucking right. around. Oh. 56. Let's see. Uh, okay. Yep, that is enough. We have a name. So as uh, as Tolks here cast his spell, they're like, "Yes, we will show." Uh, show you. Uh. Oh, oh, yeah, he's infectious. Okay, let's oh, go. Anyway, like I was saying, let's talk. more more going. Uh, uh, Walk okay. while you talk. Yep. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, but uh, of course I can fly, and I'm still. I started walking and just talking. <laughs> can you carry me across? I'm really light. <laughs> so as you guys start to walk, uh, you do see the yeah, uh, remains of a. Oh shit! Oh, oh I clicked that. That's me. That was me. Yeah, and I'll delete it. Uh, you see the remains of the guild hall. Um, well, somewhat. There are sections of the outside that are definitely charred, but this actually looks to be the best well-kept uh, facility that you see so far. Mainly because instead of being like made out of mostly wood, uh, it was actually more of a hardened shelter built out of stone. There are parts of the wall that have uh, definitely been sort of broken in. Uh, and you can see that the holes are roughly the size for small creatures to scurry in and out of. Uh, the doors, though, you can see are still standing uh, because they are made out of uh, pure mithril. Well, you know, we're not the only ones here, which is what we thought, so it's time to go. Oh, what do you mean? We uh, literally uh, came here for money. Yeah, because we thought everybody would be dead. I but don't there's think... There's people already here for the money. 
Well, uh, it, that might be a little particular. Uh, we gotta come back with money or else we're not getting a ride off this place. Yes. Ah! Ah! Intruder! As you guys look behind you, uh, you see a tiny little kobold, just one of them, uh, standing roughly where you guys had swung across, uh, and he's pointing at you guys. Um, we would know what a kobold is, right? Yeah, uh, kobolds are pretty common knowledge across the lands. So it looks right. at you guys with big um, old yellow eyes and I'm gonna uh, sleep on it again. <laughs> Hold on, wait. What? Um What's his name? I'm sorry, I'm going through my notes. Um Nimra? No, Nimra is the goddess that they serve. What was the uh, trinket? Wrench. Wrench. Yeah. Do you know where Wrench is? We're his friends. And the coal bob, as it looks like it's about to start running away, it kind of lightens up. Oh, you're the ones Rinch talked about then. Yes, yes, I show you, I show you. He in here, he in here. Come, come, come. Hurry, hurry. Um, and he runs past you. Uh, Sure. Go ahead and roll a... There Perfect. you go. You have, yeah, no reason to believe that he would be lying. He seems very sincere and optimistic and excited about what he's saying. I, I, uh, so he starts to scurry towards the guild hall. This way, this way! I look back and, like, guys, those ones said servant. These guys are kobolds. I got a bad feeling about this. It's because they serve Nimra. I think what happened is she might have got set loose. Regardless. Oh, <gasps> you know our <laughs> god. You've come to serve. You've come to give. <laughs> no. no. Oh, who's Nimra? No. And the coal bob t sort of tilts its head like a dog. Learning a new noise or new sound. We no, sir. gave we gave presents to Nimra already. But Nimra, new queen. Nimra need more from servants. Here, come, come, come! And he starts to run uh, full speed towards the guild hall. Let's just haul and, and see where uh, he's going. I don't know, you guys. Getting a bad feeling. <laughs> he gets to one of the holes in the wall. Come, you fit, you fit. And he scurries through without a uh, issue through the hole in the wall. Well. Nimra was incredibly powerful. Mm. Are we, are we going to leave that empty handed or not? That's that's the main thing I'm asking now. Well, if uh, Nimra liked you, I mean, it shouldn't be a problem then, right? Well, she liked us is. when we had something to you give. You guys hear an explosion coming from the airship area. And you see parts of one of the burning buildings has just exploded and has uh, crumbled blocking off uh, part of the docks. Oh, shit. I think we need to leave before any more damage happens. What color are these kobolds? They are red. Uh-oh. What do I know about dragons? Uh, you can roll a Arcana or Nature. Your choice. Can we all do it? <laughs> sure. Uh, Jim, you've never seen dragons. You've never really heard anything about dragon activity near Mostyn. Uh, so for all intents and purposes, dragons are 
kind of like the gods. They're out of sight, out of mind. Um, maybe yeah. they're real. You've never seen them up close, so you don't. You can believe what you want. Whereas Tolktir and Trina, your extensive knowledge has shown you the dragons are in fact real. Uh, you've seen artifacts made out of like dragon bone and things like that. Uh, but more than likely, you've never actually met one at all on your journeys. You've never seen evidence in your life of a dragon. Um, but you know that they were real. So there's no real reason for them to be not real unless they somehow went extinct um, without anyone really knowing. Uh, Babushka. And we were told a blue dragon existed, too. Yeah, that's also true. Uh, which, Jimothy, that would also help to revitalize your theory of dragons are real. Maybe. I don't know. Your thoughts. Uh, anyway, Babushka. Heard stories about, like, kobolds and dragons. Yeah, you've heard that where there's a kobold, or rather a large group of kobold, uh, and this would go for all of you except for Lightbringer. Um, typically they are there for a reason. A lot of folks say that they're there serving a dragon, um, but there's been plenty of kobold societies that have lived near other settlements and they've had no sightings of dragons either. Uh, but Babushka... You would know that uh, kobolds, uh, they worship a dragon goddess. Um, you don't remember the name, but uh, you know that there are quite a few many dragon names that you've heard throughout your times as an old fighter, half-orc, dwarven lass. And the Lightbringer, you just know that they're smelly, mainly because of what you're smelling right now. <laughs> Lightbringer, in his heart, believes the dragons are not real. Through the hole in the wall? You know come! <clears throat> well, will we come? I vote we go back to the docks and get out of here before they're even more damaged. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> Just saying, if this is a D R A G O N, our airship ain't gonna mean shit. I mean, if we can get out of here fast enough, maybe. Ah. And Galashian. That's not way. Yeah. So, will we go in or not? You see crows gathering towards the docks. What? Uh, we should leave. Did our airship just blow up? What? Well, I have. Uh, ready. I need to ask um, before I make say this or make a decision here. The spell suite I got last time last session it's been a long rest since then right so i can use them right correct yes okay that in mind if they're prepared I'm, they are one is the one i'm thinking of is prepared i'm gonna say to everybody i have a way of getting us out of here if we get what we came for we may not get back to the airship but i can get us I, we, we will be leaving the uh the noahs behind if things go uh belly up what do you need? Oh, I just, I need to cast a simple uh, spell and we will uh, go to a certain place I'm thinking of. Okay. Do it but, then. Let's go inside. Yep. I just need you guys to block for me or uh, don't want them to interrupt anything if that is the case. But how long? If you have a way need? for us to get out. Uh, let me double check. Instantaneous. Okay. I can do that. Alright. We'll just all have to, or like, I guess we'll know when you need to get us out, so. Um, is, 
like there an easy way to open the door? Because I doubt we can fit through that hole the cobalt went through, right? The hole is small, and as long as you're medium or smaller, you can squeeze through it. Okay. How big is Lightbringer? He's a medium uh, creature. I'll turn back into Beltran and just walk through. Okay. So Trina turns into Beltran and walks through uh, the little hole. I turn into Jim and walk through. Timothy walks through very easily. And as you two get in there, a uh, couple things that you notice right off the bat, uh, especially in Jimothy now that you have dark vision. Um, there is a red glow throughout the entire uh, complex. Um, there are many different little bonfires. You can see sleeping coal bulbs nested all over the place, uh, curled up next to the fire to gain heat. In the very center of this entire place, though, where you guys had gone to get your, or register your quest for the uh, Glavinus, you see a large pile of gold, platinum, copper, uh, different gems, uh, goblets made out of the various precious metals, uh, art pieces, things like that, all piled up in this huge pile of treasure. And the one uh, kobold that's leading you here, come, come, hurry, your friends, your friends. My eyes do the dollar sign cha-ching thing. <laughs> I'm gonna turn um, back into myself. I'm gonna tell Jim, hold on, we have to wait for a minute. M m we need um, to figure out how to do this. Mr. Kobold, uh, can I ask you a question real quick? I'll take that as Tolk Tier has squeezed through. Yes. And probably followed by the rest of the party. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I make it very known that I'm trying to squeeze in there. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. And as the Kobold is sort of like skittering towards the treasure, ask, ask. Uh, what, uh, the coal bob gets in front of the treasure pile and stands still and looks at you. What did you mean by friends in the other room? You mean Wrench? Is he in there? Wrench, yes, he here, he here. Who uh, is anybody else from the the hunters guild here, with us? We were kind of concerned where they went. Are are they with over there, or is it just Wrench there? He looks into one of the corners. Them? And he points to a pile of dwarves. Uh, I'm assuming they're dead, right? Uh. Uh, actually, no. Not all of them. You can see some of them are definitely corpses. Uh, but you can see a couple of them are still breathing. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Cobalt, what, what happened to uh, them? What, what, uh, what did they do? Why aren't they in the corner? Hold on, hold on. And he turns around and he gets on his knees and he starts to bow. And he bows before he takes uh, a coin purse that he found, goes up to the treasure, an offering! And he starts to pour the treasure uh, or the gold pieces. Uh, and then he comes back and says, you want to, you want to beat prisoner? They're very bad, very bad. Is that is is Wrench a prisoner? No, no, Wrench serve. Ah, is it only Cobalt serving in there, or do any humans and or dwarves serve? No, dwarves say no. So we capture them. Most of them fought back, so we had to kill them. Ah, I see, I see. But Cobalts ultimately win, with the guidance of our God. Um, is there, can you, could you bring out, um, hold on. Well, let me look at one thing first. Do not ask them to bring their god out. No, 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 no. 
Hold on, I'd be back. And the uh, coal bob wrench. leaves you. Yeah, bring wrench. And he, he turns around and goes, I'll try, I try. And he goes over towards the dwarves. Um, when he gets over there, he's probably about 45 feet away from you guys. I, I'm, I'm going to go up to Trina and whisper, okay, I'm going to try and mass suggest about however many people he brings to us to prepare some things for us and I'll teleport us out of here. We need to Just, get as close. So I'm whispering back. We need to get as close to the pie, like in a group huddle. We need to get as close to the pile as possible so we can scoop some of this shit into our bag of holding. And then want, hopefully you might be able to teleport us and some of the pile, right? Is that possible? Yeah, but, yeah so I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna try to charm a bunch. If, if more come, I'll charm them to help us do this and then teleport us out of, us out of here. Oh, we just need to work our way closer to the gold. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that in Draconic. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I, I also relate the plan to everybody else real quick. Bring her in the group puddle and say... So as you I are... You. As you are whispering to each other, uh, roll me a stealth check, please. Wow. Uh oh. So, one thing Trina notices is that she's a lot quieter than our boy Tolktir as they're whispering. And all of you notice that parts of the treasure pile start to sort of slide and you see this tiny little fleshy tail sort of wiggle out and start to sweep some of the gold from side to side and there in front of you you can see two large nostrils that are sort of glowing with a red ember as it continues to sweep you can see the snout starting to form until you see the glowing red eyes. Talk to you, I think that's a bad idea. I, uh, Are I can see that. Fools of the treasure, you say? What treasure is it that you're going to attempt to take? Perhaps I could get a cut. Or maybe, if I heard you correctly. You're trying to steal from me? Not a Great Nimra! <laughs> I take out my coin purse that I just recently found with the 30 silver and walk it over and just dump it out and back up. Oh. We were talking about a different treasure. Oh. Yes, yes. We heard there's more on the island somewhere else. And you watch as one of the great claws comes out and it scoops up the little coin purse that uh, Jimothy put down. How much did you give? All 30. Okay. And uh, Nimra uh, sort of twists the bag in between her claws and eventually uh, empties the pouch, counting it very quickly. Near silver. Do you have anything more, perhaps? I'm sh I found this outside, um, from oh, the wreckage. Oh, so, which cobalt forgot this nice little bag? Is it the one that brought you in, perhaps? I, I guess technically all of them forgot it. And Nimra uh, starts to speak in the language uh, that none of you understand. And as that happens, you see the kobold from the dwarves. Uh, whatever he was doing, he stops and hurriedly runs over and gets on his knees and begins to bow. And as he does that, all of a sudden, this giant tail comes out from underneath the gold pile and smashes him. Incense will not speak. 
That goes for all of you. And as that happens, all the kolbobs that were sleeping are now all cowering in corners. And at some point, uh, a few of them run forward and uh, start to shovel all of the gold back into a nice, lovely pile. And then they begin to bow and pray uh, to Nimra. They were they were sleeping on the job when I got here. Quite unprofessional. I do believe it's a nap time, but you can't put all of them at fault. Look at what they've amassed in such a short time. In all honesty, I don't believe that I needed the lesson's help, but it was quite soothing to know I didn't have to work as hard for my new horde. <laughs> oh, so you know the lesson as well? Yes, the ancient lesson has finally been unleashed, so I don't have to live inside of my little cave that the dwarves were so nice to carve out for me. Is, uh, are they, uh, are you and Nalesian on good terms or bad terms? Because I hear he's heading this way. Oh, he was already here. We fought side by side. I see, I see. protector of this island and all the inhabitants. I've lived here for not as long as the Leshen, but long enough to be considered an occupant of the island. Hey, this might actually uh, make you happy. We're solely responsible. Well, not solely. We're responsible for unleashing the lesson. So. Oh, that does please me so. And as Nemra hears that, the gold pile starts to shift even more. As you can see, Nemra starting to stand up, and all the coins and. Uh, treasure starts to fall from her back as she unleashes her great wings and sort of flaps them and coins go flying everywhere and you see all the coal bulbs start to scatter to grab these coins and go put them back uh, at Nimra's feet and as she uh, stretches a little bit obviously waking up from a nap from what you can tell uh, she sits back uh, much like she is in her photo there on the token. Oh, so I do have you all to think. And what better thinks than giving you all another job for me? What I think that if you can complete, perhaps I would part ways with some of my treasure. What, uh, what kind of job would that be? This island, I'm not the only dragon inhabitant. The There's king another. and queen? They are nuisances. But yes, perhaps we could take them to. But I want one that's more disguised as one of your elven types. They think they can skitter away. All because I'm back. But I'm having a little trouble finding her. My kobolds can't find her. Disguised? I, I'm, I'm not following. A gold dragon. Oh. But disguised is one of your elven types. Uh, Hidden in the I... desert somewhere, I believe, but probably about to leave the island now that the lesson's on the way. She might try to defend them, but I don't really know. I want her word, though. She has amassed a lot. I can smell it in the air. She has more than I do. And I cannot tolerate that. Um, where exactly, how far away are they from here? Hmm, few days travel, unless you plan on stealing one of those airships that belong to me now. 
Um, I am sure that we'd be happy to assist you, but um, there's sort of the, the, the issue of the Leshen that would kill us on sight, and are the other creatures here. You unleash the lessons and you have a gray spirit. Obviously, you should know. The lesson won't kill you, sort of as a token of its gratitude, especially after being kept hidden away from those elven druids for so very long. Plus, I'm sure when the lesson comes back, I could speak with it. Perhaps. Allow it to know that you are all servants of Nimra, and that you are allowed to come and go from this island as you please. Let's see, um, well, and the other creatures on the island that were previously hostile to us, uh, I imagine they're in a, in a rage state. Oh, they're living quite comfortably, slaughtering any of those hunters that are trying to flee. These are the easiest of prey. They're trying to escape the lesson. They've almost forgotten that there's other creatures that inhabit the island as well. Speaking of which, I think it's now time for a snack. Any of you care for a dwarf? I, uh, and Nimra starts no, to walk over towards you. the dwarves, and you can see them all cowering in fear. Hey, you got to help us, please! We didn't do anything wrong. We laid down our arms. This is nothing personal. It's just the cycle of life. And as Nimra says that, you see fire starting to uh, sort of spew from the corners of her mouth. Deserved. And I, uh, lays down their arms. Cowards. I make it a pain face as I'm assuming she's just eating them in front of me. So. Um. I give that uh, Michael Scott like. Face. <laughs> 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 Oh man, yep, I can definitely, um, yeah. And my Let's brain see. is just sitting there, just still, with a smirk on his face, just watching. As fire is unleashed from Nimra's uh, snout, uh, engulfing two of those uh, dwarves that are on chains. Uh, the other one you can see being in such close proximity you can see their skin start to blister almost instantly from the sheer heat as he begins to scream out in pain. Uh, Nimra does this for a few seconds. Um, after the smoke clears, you can see the two bodies of the dwarves completely charred. Uh, their chains have essentially been melted. And she goes with a claw and she stabs one of them through the chest and uh, brings it up to her mouth, sniffs it, places it, and starts to crunch. And you can hear each bone crack. And you can see uh, little bits of uh, blood sort of sputter um, out of her mouth as she uh, begins to chew uh, with her mouth open, essentially. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I've not had more than this is quite the treat. You, dwarf. As she turns to look towards Tolktir and somewhat at Babushka. Be glad you serve me instead of being on the other end of the spectrum. <laughs> Are you sure I can't offer you any treats of any kind? We have more than dwarf here. I could offer a cobalt, not the greatest of meat, but it can do on an empty stomach. 
No, thank you. I I've lost my appetite. Oh, rejected offer. Hmm. I'll remember that. Not rejected, just at this moment in time, I'm not hungry. But I do have a gift for you as a thank you for our future friendship. <laughs> I hope you remember the two of these that I gave you earlier and I pull out my last boom scale. Ah, so you're the one that gave me these. Yes. And as you uh, place it uh, nearby, she actually comes over and pinches it between two of her claws and she pops it in her mouth and as she crunches down you can hear because she keeps her lips uh, somewhat tight as she crunches down on it you can hear and sort of see her cheeks puff out um, as you hear a tiny little explosion and as that explosion happens uh, smoke starts to uh, flow out from between her teeth mm. They're like pop rocks. Delicious. If only I had the full carcass. But perhaps maybe I'll go Was brought here somewhere. These days. Probably already carved and utilized for these hunters and their barbaric practices. Slaying creatures to make weapons. Just to slay even more creatures. It's despicable. But regardless, now I don't feel like eating the other dwarf. So, Vince, you may feast. And you see all the coal bulbs, uh, as they were still cleaning up, uh, they throw whatever they had in their hands and they start to run towards the dwarf which is still very close to the other chained dwarf and you can see as they start to tear into the flesh of the burnt dwarf uh, ripping apart the corpse and eating it uh, as the other dwarf is cowering in fear oh god what did I do to deserve this <laughs> You all came here for something. My treasure. But now that you know the proper owner, I'm assuming your ideas have changed slightly. Of course. And you say you don't wish to go tussle with the gold dragon at all? I believe she's I don't. just an adult. I, I don't think we ever said that. I, I, oh, oh, he's uh, not as big as you? No. Nor as powerful. Very easily defeated she would be from those that were able to unleash the lesson. Um, Lightbringer raises his hand like a student. So, if we were to take out this, uh, gold dragon, can we keep, uh, any parts, uh, that we may be able to, per se, uh, cut off it? You could have the whole body as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I right. believe her gold scales would fetch you a good price on the mainland, which I would be willing to give you all those gold scales and I'll keep the rest down fair to me charitable if anything uh, yeah anyway guys sir we can we could use that to exchange for money more riches yes and when you're done with that job and you get your riches. You can come back so that I can give you your next task. I have many enemies that I wish to be dealt with. 
And now that I have warriors as servants instead of these mere cannon fodder, I think the world is about to understand the presence of their newest queen. <laughs> so, what would it be, guys? Sounds like a perfectly fine bargain, if you may ask me. But what do I know? I just I joined you guys. Um. Sounds very good. How would we, um, get, uh, to and from, um, said place on the island. Have you guys seen that look that Stewie makes when he tilts his head towards Brian? <laughs> <laughs> like the one where he just I, like slowly looks? Slowly, I like, I start doing that and say, Talk to you. do you want to make a deal with this dragon? Oh, that is a, that is a good, good point. Brady, how many... Uh, people do I see around? How, how many people with us? Wait, is is uh, Dusty with us right now? No, no. It's just you guys. Dusty went to the airship. I see. Yep. So, um, so it's you guys. Uh, there is that dwarf that's in chains, and then there's a bunch of coal bulbs. So there is. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Dusty would be six. And the other two would be eight, nine for the, the gnome. Um, I look to Trina and, and uh, Jim. Um, the work. What about Dusty? He, had his, he got his money. As in helping us potentially, being here with us potentially. I'm sure he won't do that. Um, Unless you're trying to pay him, that is. Yes, yes. Uh, do we want him to help us? I look to Trina. Do you think Dusty? Do you do you want Dusty to come with us? I think. Or do you think we should just go with this here plan? I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick. I think we should go with the plan. And leave Dusty and the other two gnomes out? Yeah, fuck those guys. Yeah. They don't need this treasure. What about Lilith of Heart? She doesn't need it either. Maybe we should inform the dragon of Lilith. Mm. Nimra, Maybe. she knows that Lilith, the witches are on this island. I mean, other way around. Yeah, this whole time, Lightbringer is like trying to contain laughter. <laughs> Nimra does hear every word that you say. Uh, when you say gnomes, uh, she essentially locks eyes with Tolktir, staring at him as he continues to talk. And then he goes on to Lilith Hart, and you can see that she kind of, one of her eyes sort of, she glares at Tolktir. Oh, you know that name? With you. Oh, and not Lilith exactly. Hart is around. Well, Lilith is for sure. Do you know of her? Yes, I do. Good terms or bad terms? Both. If you can what's believe the, it. What's the most, what's the more recent of terms? Believe it. The most recent is that I want to shred her and those oh. deck of cards. For destroying but, my horde back decades ago. I see, I see. She told me I would be off of riches, but instead whatever card I drew destroyed everything I owned. 
And the good terms oh, were... she's here. And you see as Nimra starts to get on all fours, and you can see she's getting more and more agitated every time the name comes up. And she's here now. And I can have my revenge. More yep. or less. But why should I dirty my hands? You all, show me your combat prowess. Take me to Lilith and slay her. Show your loyalty. And as she says that, the flames are starting to sputter from her mouth again as she's staring at all of you. I see, I Jim see. gives a big old thumb. <laughs> <laughs> well. Did you say, did, 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 did you want to say move? Or, or did, I, I couldn't catch yeah, that. Move. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. She's uh, getting well. very impatient. Let's go outside because we're not, you know, in the guild here. Let's let's go back to the docks. Oh yeah, and Tog dear, yeah. If we're gonna proceed with uh, this plan, uh, can't forget my uh, my newfound companion. Hey. Okay. You know, my companion that just flew out of the sky and came to help me. Which, by the way, a ret a slight retcon on that. It's a uh, female Goliath fighter not a male oh wait are they with us oh, too no. oh no they're no, not they with with you like presently they went to the airship i forgot about wait how many there's one with you right and then there is two of them yeah and then no, heck no, no. heck nana well, got a door okay heck one's nana had one okay 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 oh fuck i forgot about those guys oh yeah um, well, we will see them at the ship, so. All right. Well, well when you watch as uh, Nimra walks towards the mithril uh, gate, and uh, she swipes her tail at the mithril bar that is uh, essentially placed, keeping the door shut. And with relative ease, she's able to lift it with her tail, Put it down and barge out of the great mithril doors. Um, how are we following? Or le are we leading, following, or I'm I'm kind of confused at the arrangement of people in the order they're proceeding. Everyone's looking around, like, what is everybody else doing, and nobody's doing anything. <clears throat> Essentially, Nimra's outside of the guild hall, and she turns around. Quick, get to it. Find her and kill her. Uh, well, we, we gotta go back to the docks. Away we go. Oh, not necessarily. Hello. We found a friend. And as, as you guys are walking towards uh, the door, probably, to follow Nimra, uh, mm -hmm. the voice comes from inside. Uh... And Nimra is there staring uh, inside. On top of the treasure hoard, you see Lilith Hart shuffling her cards. And uh, she looks to all of you. Now, you wouldn't all really fight me now, would you? Boy, I'll go ahead and tell you, it would be a very bad idea. Uh, not because I'm as strong as Nimra, but because you're already caught in her grasp she's not going to let you just leave this island not without having to either make her forget that you serve her or forget that you're even alive and Nimra is uh, standing at the door and she looks down towards you all what are you waiting for attack I don't know if we can take her I think she'll just kill us I'll be honest, I have no plans on fighting you, uh, but you are correct. I believe if we were to fight, I would kill each and every one of you. Most certainly. And then you just, yeah. Um, Help. <laughs> is there a... Uh, oh, 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 the plot thickens. Any advice to what to do in this situation? 
Lilith uh, shuffles her cards uh, and she draws one. She goes, hmm. How about a joke? What do you get when a dragon sneezes? Flamethrower? Flame? She, she grabs a sack uh, from her pouch, scoops up some of the gold out of the way, and she flips the card over and vanishes. At this point, Nimra is in between you guys and her treasure hoard, and she unleashes a blast of fire breath. I uh, all of you make a dexterity saving throw. I can take it. I am going to do a elemental. What's it called? Uh, <laughs> elemental. I think I have thingy. advantage on this. What's nope, it called? that's a different thing. I have learned I can do this as a reaction, I believe. Yes, I can. Yeah, I do have advantage. Mm Does it have to be a reaction or can it be a bonus action? Uh, right now it would have to be a reaction if you cast a spell. Uh, and I can cast it at higher levels, so I will do so. Um, I can't get out of this. <laughs> I have resistance to it. But... And then I... Oh, god damn it. Didn't work. Yeah, I do oh, dexterity shit. plus this, right, right, Brady? Dexterity plus absorb elements? Yes. Uh, yes, I believe so. Which one do you want me to do first? Well, I get uh, it, you right? can do the, uh, you can do essentially just do both of them. It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, the absorb elements didn't go off, but it took my spell slot. What do you mean it didn't go off? I see it right there. More like uh, spell, uh, spell slut. Oh, <laughs> as in it didn't actually uh, roll? Upcast. Yeah. Or upcast, yeah. You cast it at fifth level, so you get uh -oh. five D6. So just roll five D6. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, all of you failed the check, unfortunately. The 22 failed? Yep. All right. The save was a 24. Uh, so, all of you, except for Tolk Tier, would take uh, 89 fire damage. I have resistance, though, right? Cool. Do you? I have fire resistance mm, yeah. too. As a fire yeah, collide. so you guys, yeah, you guys take half of that. So let me uh, heal you, and then half of that. Heal Babushka. And half of that. Uh, and then Tolktir essentially would heal up plus 15. And as she does that, uh, the fire starts to melt uh, a lot of the treasure hoard. Um, Lilith is nowhere to be seen there. Uh, and I would say all of you can kind of guess that Lilith's last sort of memento to you guys was this exact event. Uh, getting you in between her and the dragon and causing her to unleash this cone of fire uh, which Lightbringer and Babushka obviously get hurt but uh, they're able to you know stave off most of the pain while the rest of you are like minus Jim of course Jim is also relatively fine being small and all uh, but Tolk, Tyr, and Trina take a huge hefty chunk uh, and uh, begin gasping for air as the flames start to subside and Nemra standing there and she looks down at you What are you waiting for? After her, my servants Right on she it. She runs in past, past you guys uh, and she starts to dig through her hoard. No! No! No, she took it! 
she took it. No. And she turns back to you guys. You all. You will find this Lilith. You will slay her and bring her corpse to me. I will be feasting on her bones. Everything that she has in her possession will be brought to me. And if it's not done, hmm. she begins to sniff all of you. I'm gonna cast uh, as she's doing that. I'm just gonna cast teleport and uh, get us the hell out of here. And okay, um, thank God. Or if I can, before she starts sniffing us. I want to cast teleport and uh let's see what would you deem is familiar with to me brady or uh well known and whatnot uh because of the fact that you've been you know doing the grudge bearing i would Aww. say all major towns are all major like settlements slash uh empire capitals are familiar to you and pretty much anywhere you would want to go in the snowy lands uh is familiar to you so is that you mean and you mean very familiar familiar enough to where teleport won't fuck up okay <laughs> that's all that matters <laughs> the the desert place we were talking about before i'm gonna think of that and i want to okay. come the cap the capital where babushka's family was at Prego, like the trade city. Yep, I want to go there. Okay. Uh, so as Nimra is uh, shouting and demanding things of you and begins to calm down as she begins to sniff you, Tolk Tier, uh, you go fui say five fi sao, and then boom, you guys <laughs> go through this. Essentially, think of. Uh, I guess hyperspace in Star Wars, like all of a sudden everything like blinks for a moment and there's a bunch of flashing lights and all of a sudden uh, you're in the middle of a bazaar. Actually, we'll put you guys at the oasis that's outside. Uh, you guys are in the middle of a an oasis. You are soaking wet and you're looking around like, what the hell just happened? And burnt a shit. <laughs> uh, yes, but the the lukewarm water is actually kind of, uh, I guess, nice. It's soothing your burns a little bit. I need, I'm trying to find my desert music. Talk to you. I take back everything mean I said about you. Oh, it's all right. Thank you, Why didn't you do that earlier. <laughs> I was I was kind of fire. No, I well, think you did it at the perfect time. If I you did. Clear. Honestly, I kind of wanted to see what uh, what Loth would do with the dragon, if she would take it out for us. But uh, of course, my not, God, she fucked not me the up. Case. That's probably going to be the last time we ever hear or see of her. So, just put it behind us. <laughs> oh, <laughs> say shit like oh, that. Oh man, that'll come back to bite us in the ass. Hmm. Uh, ain't gonna ever find us ever, no matter what. Oh gosh. So, all right. So I'm gonna go on a whim here and say, uh, should never trust a witch or a hag. Check. Correct. Taking notes. <laughs> um. Oh, you guys trusted her? No. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Not at all. I was like, uh, they can be useful, but it's always going to end poorly for you. I'm surprised that she was just shitty like that, though. That was kind of weird. Well, she Do you guys hear too. music? Uh, I hear wind I hear blowing. Wind. Uh, yeah. I don't okay. hear anything. Do I have to restart my, my no. uh, session? Oh, well, maybe. Uh, honestly, sorry. Apologize for not doing that sooner. I was trying to maybe take some stuff with us before we yeah, left. Nobody died. It's okay. I'm just glad that you got us out of there in the time you did. 
Uh, oh man, we made so much money there. Uh, Thirty silver. Whoa. Um, nope, I gave that back. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have thirty silver. Oh. oh, oh, oh. I'm rolling, rolling in it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Woo. Uh, hey, uh, totally uh, worth right it. Right where we needed to be, faster than we would have been if we took an airship, and nobody's dead. Yeah. I see. This I call that. Absolute win. I call it a win, and can we find somewhere where I can heal up? Well, luckily... So, there's... you guys being in the middle of this oasis, right? Um, you look around, there's a bunch of, like, palm tree kind of things. What the fuck? And a blue dragon pops up. Actually. 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 At some point in time, maybe. If you guys go looking Dude, for that would have been amazing. Well, I have to, so. And but do you really? Brady, did I you see my message? Guess. I did, and uh, I thought about it, but no. no. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I should still be focusing on my flight, right? Uh, yes. Be right yeah, back. Just because you I, got teleported no doesn't he... mean. Yeah. He took, he took 89 damage. I took half. Uh, yeah, he only took half because he's resistant to fire. Him and Babushka. Oh. I took 89 damage. Dang, you can concentrate like a son of a bitch. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah actually, you would need to do a constitution and half of... What is it? 45? Like, and I am working. Is 23. So, yeah, roll a constitution saving throw. It's got to be a 23. I'm totally that kid that reminds the teacher of the homework. <laughs> so, so we were outside when this happened, Brady? Like, we Shut didn't make pitch. it to the docks, right? You are not flying oh, anymore. Dear. Uh, say that again, Jeff. We we made it, like, outside the building, right? And then uh, Loth just appeared, like, overhead or something. Yeah, you guys were essentially, so they're, like, if you're looking at where those gates were uh, that I described, you guys are at right where the gates were. Nimra is outside on the opposite end, and then Lilith appeared out of nowhere on top of the treasure pile. And then she drew a card. She flipped it to you, but you wouldn't have had enough time to see it before she disappeared, uh, a.k.a. essentially teleport like you did. Definitely Exodia. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. Or Uno Reverse. Well, that sucked. Not the worst. Uh, right. Could have been worse. It could be uh, literal ash. Or it talked to you here. Could have been in her gullet. That's yeah. True. Still kind of feel bad for Dusty, though. I don't know where he's yeah. at. He'll be fine. That guy. He's a mercenary. He'll be okay. Technically, yeah, Dusty's not just alive. Walk the water and then, like, walk all the way. Like, he's fine. And he, he can't talk, so that makes it even better. Yeah. He can just, like, pretend to be dead. How many, how many dragons were on that island? Enough. I don't know. Hey, aren't gold dragons like exceedingly legends. rare and like you guys can roll a arcana check at disadvantage to know anything about gold dragons specifically if you'd like so talk here from what you've read uh, the thing you know is that dragons are typically uh, divided into two You've got the metallic dragons and the chromatic dragons. The red dragon, Nimra, the eternal flame, is a red dragon of the chromatic dragons. And a gold dragon is part of the metallic dragon family. And you know that they're literally divided and opposite of each other. Whereas metallic dragons are typically good or neutral. And uh, chromatic dragons are almost always evil. And the main thing is that chromatics worship the goddess uh, Tiamat 
and metallics. They uh, worship Baphomet. Or not Baphomet, Bahamut. Baphomet is a demon lord. Big yeah. <laughs> all of a sudden, all dragons are evil. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm just worried if she got a, a scent of us, though. Me. We'll deal with it later. She's I mean, already I... mad enough to freaking fire breath our asses when we're being nice to her. Imagine... I'll take the dogs out real quick. I don't know. I don't really want to be associated with another one. I don't want to be a slave for something else. That oh, no, me either. I'm, I'm just on the off chance they ever leave that island trying to find us. That's all. Yeah, that is a real question. Would she be mad enough to come look for us? No, she's so fucking lazy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I feel like they, they have a, a horned bear that they'll stick stick with, but I don't think we can ever go I back to the island. Yeah, I think she'll send things after us, maybe, but she's never going to do anything. She's sure. her mortal en enemy that like got rid of her horde was right there, and she's like, you go get him. Like, obviously she could k kick her ass more than we could. But, so, I don't know. Hmm. Well then, that's it. Uh, yeah. Also, I think we could take her if we wanted to. Yeah. She's easy. So much but for my dry. goddamn birthday present. We'll, well just have to get have, a new one. You still have the uh, the bell, don't you? That's, that was from the card. <laughs> His birthday present was the grappling hook. Hey. You remember when uh, the gnome used a grappling hook to go outside on the ship and make a repair or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was supposed to be my present. Oh. Oops. All in good time. Yeah, you know, also, you uh, that, you full disclosure, I don't. Uh, what? You, you say, when have you I say ever that, failed? Like Snoopy didn't get his birthday present. Well, he yeah, was I, on the verge. You literally just had to no. not fight those dudes, <laughs> or at least not try to get the shiny. Idea. Uh, Erica, oh, did we tell you about the? I'm just joking. We did. I know we did. Okay. I just well, wanted to see if Kirsten would get, uh, you know, riled up. <laughs> I'm trying to pretend I'm over it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just love giving you shit. I know. I'll never get over it. I love Snoopy. <laughs> uh, he technically still exists. As a bone dog. Technologically. Than nothing. Uh, but the time of day currently. Um, oh, shit. Oh, it just did a whole. That's not right. Calendar just got all fucked up. Oh, no, that is correct. Okay, cool. There we go. All right. But yeah, the time of the day, uh, it is roughly nine at night. Uh, so the sun is like barely on the horizon. Uh, you are noticing that it's starting to get a little chilly, especially being in the middle of a oasis. Um, but you do see, obviously, the beach or I guess the sand uh, that surrounds this oasis um, and everything looks to be kind of uninhabited, relatively. I'm gonna go sit that next. That island to me. sucked, guys. I'm sorry. That that was awful. Hey, it's your fault. And he points to Jim. How do you even know? We got your hey. toe back, so that's what matters, right, Jim? I know it's my fault, but how do you know, Lightbringer? 
obviously you guys are here for your reason and your reason only because of Thorpe. How do you know we didn't all meet on this island like we did? Mm, I highly doubt it. It's also not my fault you were there or talked to you. Just Trina. <laughs> really? Just agree to never go back, yeah? I hope I, I never yeah. go back. Yeah. May Thorpe rest in peace. Too many, like, <sighs> like druids and witches. What? There was like four hags on that island plus. Yes, evil I came druids, too close to dying too many times on that animals, island. Plus animals. Plus, you know, dinosaur again that came out of nowhere. <laughs> so, um, it's getting dark. How far away do I recognize us being away from the city, Brady? Uh, you can actually see. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, you can see you're on the outskirts of the city. It's probably less than like a 30 minute walk or something. Uh, and you said this was morning or night? I said night. It's nighttime, yeah. Okay. Well, I am going to uh, say I don't want to walk anymore. I'm just going to cast Tiny Hut. And I'm going to start doing so. And if am I, I allowed in it this time? Yes. <laughs> yes, you are. And so as um, he's ritually you, casting Tiny Tier, Hut. You, you actually want to stick around with us? Well... I like having you around, Tolk here. Well, thank you. I well, mean, as long as yeah, we don't. After that, that was. Uh... That was you don't a. Have to do anything else, and you're useful enough. <laughs> that was a good friendship building exercise, you guys. Well, thanks. Well, I'm gonna go get the dogs. <laughs> hey, I still uh, I say mean... that. I still say we should have fought that go dragon. I I wanted to I as well, insane. but uh, I. Hey, uh, it's all in good fun when you're fighting. I think me mentioning Lilith was a uh, a bumble on my part. I I was gambling that they would uh, get redirected and go off on Lilith by themselves and not try to rope us into it. But I thought that she would have liked Lilith. It was a gamble. Regardless, um, who, yeah, I mean, I feel like the dragon made that up right on the spot that her, the horde was destroyed by the cards. Uh, let's see, what do I have? Let me look, let me look at the old oh, grudges I have on file here. I thought I had some business over here. If not, I can obtain some business over here. You should. Yeah, this one I had one. Let's see. I might go lay down next to the oasis and like feel the burn. <laughs> what is this place called again, Brady? Blood Sand Plateau. Yeah, that's. I'm guessing I'm closer to the sun plat. Sud that blood sand plateau. I'm guessing yeah. because I, of word uh... sand. Wanna... Currently, you guys are in the Nomadic Conclave's territory. Yeah. Uh, the Blood Sand Plateau. Um, you would have a relative knowledge as to where it is just because of the fact that the uh, Grudge Bearers gave you the knowledge. Uh, it's southwest of you. Uh, you see those little plateaus that look like blood? Mm. Yeah. I see, <laughs> actually. Well, I have business in the area, and uh, I, I don't mind uh, continuing to travel with you guys for a bit, if that's what you're getting at. Um, I was able to get one of my contracts done. And uh, truth be told, the uh, the magistrate doesn't really pay that well. Uh, they give me like just enough to get by, so. Hmm. But, um, 
I appreciate the uh, the the praise. <laughs> Oh, and uh, by the way, Trina, you said I noticed there was another wizard that traveled with you guys previously. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to have his spell book by chance? I don't think so. I don't know. Let me check my bag. I have a book. It's not in my bag, oh. so I don't know <laughs> if I grabbed it or not. I don't think Barely. you ever did grab. And Lloyd I had. She did. Uh, I don't think she I ever think, did. I think when y'all were uh, when we were getting ready to like put the body in in the lava and all that, y'all raided his pockets and all that stuff and took everything. Yeah, I'm fairly certain she has it, but. Okay, or you, the, you just this, didn't this add it to the thing. Oh, no, it's, 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 it's hers. I can't, it's in her bag holding. I can't grab that. I'm pretty sure I, I gave everyone the... Hold on, let me look. Nope, never mind. Yeah, I think she is the only one that can edit stuff. But yes, the book of Lloyd should be in there. The spell book of Lloyd should be in there. A few oh, scraps okay. left. And uh, if you were to happen to have that said book, um, it is a gift to you as a thank you for saving our asses. Here you go. Thank you. Nice job, peruse. Uh, based on what Brady lets me peruse later on, or uh, in the night, I guess. Pretty sure. I mean, you can copy it all during the long rest. Well, most of it. You'll need to get material components for others. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure, wasn't it? Yeah, everything that is prepared is what's left in the book. I Lloyd's don't character sheet. I... A lot of things aren't prepared. Correct. I don't know if I undone if I did that an accident, but he definitely had more things prepared beforehand. I don't remember what was prepared beforehand. Um, oh, um, are you are you saying like you have prepared what's available to me? Yeah, the uh, thought we went through and the spells that you'd be able to copy, we prepared them. So there's five I don't of remember. them. Yeah, one, two, three. Four, five. Uh, Goodberry's on there. That shouldn't be it. Yeah, One, Goodberry wouldn't work. But... Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five's around there. Okay, so five are on there. Uh, okay. Quick question. Yes. Did my Pokemon make it out of all this? Um, if they did, they're on an airship elsewhere. Well, that is very unfortunate. Hey, Toke Deer. Hmm. What happened to my companion? Uh, well, I did not see them in sight uh, when I cast the spell, so, uh, wherever you left them. I mean, uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to save more. Oh no, what about your companion, Light, Lightbringer? That is exactly what I asked him. Oh, I heard you say Pokemon. I don't know what that is. Oh no, out of character, I said Pokemon. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, now my gift is gone. Unfortunately. I bet you. I have a good feeling that randomly one day they're going to show up because they are, I mean, that's what happened, right? They just randomly showed up hmm. to find you. 
Who's to say yeah. they can't do that again? Yeah, I wanted to talk to her about all everything I've been through. I wanted to ask her about her village. She got to do it. Yeah. I gotta wait. I hope she makes it out. Well, um, I I'm gonna cast this hut now, and uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, read the. the the burnt charred remains of these cut pages, and I am going to go to sleep. And it's just gonna like crawl into the tent and <laughs> Okay. So Tolkier finishes the tent, then he pulls out Lloyd's book, and uh, Tolkier like uh, scratches into his beard and pulls out a feathered quill. And he begins to essentially copy things from Lloyd's old spell book into Tolkien's spell book. I'm pretty sure, uh, based on all the spells there, uh, you don't actually need any material components. You just need whatever cash it requires for. Uh, yeah, I gotta look at what that is. It's, it's I'm pretty reduced. sure you've got plenty. Yeah. Shield it's, doesn't it's, have anything specific. Mirror image doesn't have anything specific. Thunder step doesn't. Animate objects doesn't. Fire shield. Yeah, I put them over. Um, I will. I need to subtract the money later. Which or... actually, fire shield uh, would require fireflies, but guess what? The Oasis has fireflies. Ah. <laughs> you. Probably, uh, uh, as you're copying, you're like, shit, I need fireflies for this. Hey, one of you guys, yeah. go get the fireflies for me, please. Yeah. Babushka and let's just say go. that it's, yeah, Babushka goes. Grabs you some fireflies Shanky. in a jar. She pokes some holes in the top. She puts some grass in there, too. Oh. In the jar. It I'm never helps. <laughs> no, it doesn't. They, they, they die within the night. They always die. Saying. Let's see. Order of scraps. What do I get from this? Yeah, I'm not worried about you deducting it just now. You can just copy all the spells over if you wish. Yeah, I just did. And then, uh... Yeah. So as that's going on, is there anything Ooh. that the rest of the party's doing? Sleeping and healing. Library is just sulking and a bit of knitting until I pass out. Okay. I am going to roll all of my. Oh, actually, hold on. I'll try one thing. I might have another spell I can use. Let's see. Um. How much is this gonna hurt? Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's going to kill me. Okay. <laughs> That's uh, usually not a good question. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that later. I'm going to heal. Uh, yeah, go oh, for it. I'm going to heal all of my... Uh, is it six left? Six. I have six dice left. So as you guys are sleeping and healing and stuff, uh, Lightbringer... As you're nodding off to sleep, you start to hear echoed voices of your daughter crying out. You don't, you don't deserve, deserve to know that we're alive. 
But we'll, we'll make, make sure, sure you forget. forget. It's at this point that you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a deep breath. Visibly sweating now. And tears rolling. There's no reason to have nightmares anymore, Lightbringer. You hear a voice coming from outside the hut. Uh, Lightbringer stands up quickly and I looks looks in the direction where the voice came from. Or should I call you Nakal? That's how you say it, right? Mm Mm-hmm. Your mask was destroyed. You can't see me. Allow me to illuminate. And you hear the verbal components of a spell and then you see a shining light come from about 10 paces outside of the uh, the hut. And the character doesn't look like this, but it's a placeholder for when Kevin finishes the artwork that he's making for me. <laughs> it's <a> mall. <laughs> You can call me Zillid, but honestly, you shouldn't really remember my name. Because once I'm done with you, I will probably never see you again. You've caused quite a ruckus down in the Nine Hells lately. So much so that my services have been called to take you in. Take me in. Why? Yes. Why? I guess I'll start with a little background. The folks that I work for, or person, rather, is known as the curator, Hell's Collector. He's been establishing a museum on the fifth layer of Hell for millennium, ever since he became an archdevil. He picks random creatures from across the planes of existence and he sends us to go and collect them, bring them back alive so that he can house them, show them off to the devils that come by. And recently your name has fallen into my lap as the next big ticket item. Does this spader know about this? Hmm. He might have caught wind, but the spader is so paranoid, I don't think he's really worried about you as much as he's worried about himself right now. Regardless, I don't plan on taking you just yet. I like to play with my food. How about you step out of the tiny hut, though? So I can see what you actually look like in the flesh without that silly mask. Lightbringer like uh, turns and looks at the rest of the party if they're still sleeping and then just walks out there. I would say everyone can roll perception at disadvantage. If you roll above a 17, you can wake up if you wish. Wait. Oh, I'm dead. I'm gonna roll the rest of my HP dice real fast. Yeah, so I gotta roll mine, but get this out the way. Uh, yeah, no one's awake, so they're all still cozy. If you want to wake them, you can. I don't. I just walk out there. Ah. Even uglier than I've been seeing. But it doesn't matter. 
I'm not going to look at the collection. After all, my master does collect some questionable specimens every now and then. But why he wants you is a mystery to me. Perhaps maybe he's doing this to do a little show of force to Dispater. You do serve Dispater after all as one of his high-ranking officials, I believe. At least that's what my sources say. Yet you're in such a pitiful state now. Whatever could have happened to you? You smell of sulfur and burnt dwarf. Unfortunate events transpired recently. Well, I'm not really interested in the story, if I'm to be honest. I don't much care to know too much about my victims, except for how to defeat them. So, I guess comes the next part. And that uh, thing that he's holding, he sort of twirls it around. Fight me. Very well. Uh, am I able to roll my elf real quick? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get a chance uh, to. No, you haven't thing. fully rested yet. Oh, okay. Very well. I'll pull Don't worry, hand. I won't use my powers. I simply want to see what you're possibly capable of. That way, when I do come after you, I'll know exactly how many of my group to bring to combat yours. To make sure I get you out alive. Because <laughs> if uh, anything, you'll just die in the curator's confinement. Nightbringer draws his, uh, his trusty claymore and assumes stance. Okay. Oh. Darth Maul is flying. There he goes. But Darth Maul right in front of your token. We. I don't know why it actually does that. It's why low key kind of so annoying. Why is tiny compared to the Yeah, rest. why is it so tiny? Yeah. Uh, I just That's haven't upgraded or. Er, I just saw a little here. fly by, flying by all of us. So that was hilarious. Oh, there you go. Okay. You draw your weapon. And you can roll your initiative. So his thing that he cast light on, uh, both sides you see this red crystal pop out and start to glow. And you can see how hot it is because it's steaming uh, due to the fact that the cold air is uh, whipping around. Go on, I'll give you the first hit. Let's see what you're made of, Lightbringer. Let's see if you're truly worth bringing back in alive. Hey, Lightbringer just, just goes in. Just a uh, swift breath. Goes for two attacks. Okay, uh, miss and a hit. So you go in, and as you're running through the sand, you actually kind of like trip a little bit, and your first uh, attack is really clumsy. And uh, uh, Zillid quickly deflects it, but using that momentum, you're able to get a land a second hit on him. Right. One basic. Ah, very good. He is going to attack you with his. Uh, oh. Apparently, I can't do that. Uh, so that's a hit. 
That's a hit. And that's a miss. So he goes in for three attacks with his uh, double-sided sword. And as he digs in on each side, you can feel the heat coming from the blades. Uh, but it doesn't burn you. Uh, it feels more forceful. Almost as if uh, it's the same sort of energy as Trina's like Eldritch Blasts. Uh, and with that miss, can I uh, use my Legacy of War? Uh, battle thingy to use my reaction to hit him. Yeah. Alright. Repost! This guy really made the lightsaber do force damage. Mm. <laughs> yes. As opposed to... <laughs> <laughs> That was a miss. Uh, so right. the yeah it misses so as he misses with the one you try to counter react and he's a little bit faster than you are hmm. <clears throat> go ahead hit me again this time you can roll your attacks with advantage as he holds his arms outstretched I won't block this time Hits and hits. You hit him twice, and uh, at this point, he sort of like grimaces a little bit in pain. He's like, hmm, perhaps maybe I can understand where he's coming from, but let's see how you handle this one. He holds his hand uh, towards you, and he starts to grip. And you can feel as your uh, neck muscles start to tense, and you begin to suffocate. Uh, I need a constitution saving throw, please. Oops. Oh, nice. So, uh, through through it, uh, let's see. You take half the damage. So you're able to withstand, and uh, he sees um, you're not struggling as much, and he puts his hand down, and he looks somewhat impressed. Hmm. Able to stave off my abilities. Perhaps I'll try something a little tougher next time. He readies up his uh, blade this time. Go ahead. Give it everything you've got. Amuse me. Mm. Nice trick. How do you take this one? Am I able to cast spells on him? Yeah. Uh, he, I will cast Summon Hell. On him. It's a 15 foot cone or 15 foot uh, sphere okay. to place around him. All right. Uh, da -ba -da. The cloud, but the bug. All right. So, with the cloud of hellfire echoing and the cries of the damned souls being heard from anyone within 30 feet. Uh, all the rest of you at this point, if you wish to wake up, you can, uh, because there's literally screaming <laughs> coming from outside the hut. <laughs> yeah. Any creature We're that starts its hell. turn takes that much. Any creature that ends there. Okay. Rina stays asleep. No, just kidding. <laughs> okay. Still wake up. I, I right, uh, so. inquire what's going on outside. He'll go ahead and roll his wisdom save. He made the save, so he takes half damage. Oh, wait. What's the wisdom save for? Oh, that's if it's a psychic. Okay, so he just takes the fire damage because he's there. 
And then Psychic if he ends his turn there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so on his turn, he'll... Hmm. Nice trick, but I think you forget that I come from this very place. And he walks out of it, unscathed. Now, my turn. And I need another constitution saving throw from you. Ooh. He holds out his hand, and you feel not but your entire body being crushed. And I think Tolktir wakes up at this point and is like, what's going on out there? You're going to have to tend to your friend here in a moment. And you watch this gentleman outstretch his hand towards uh, Lightbringer, and he makes a fist. So he goes from an op open palm, and you can see Lightbringer physically essentially being handled by some invisible force. And as the entity crushes his hand, Lightbringer gasps <coughs> and falls, collapsing after he takes 40 force damage. Peace. Which just knocks him unconscious. At this point, the entity in front of you shakes his head. Uh, the two glowing blades uh, retract back into the center. Hmm. Tell Lightbringer a message for me when he wakes. I didn't outright try to kill him. He should be fine with some rest or with healing spells. But he's weak. I need him to grow stronger before I take him back where he belongs. You all will do well to keep him alive, I'm sure, while he trains. And if not, then perhaps maybe I'll take all of you in as well. And the entity turns around and starts walking towards the water of the oasis. Oh, and one more thing. He turns around uh, to look at all of you again. I'd be careful trusting him. He does work for an archdevil after all. And he starts to walk on to the water and as he goes probably about 15 feet into the water you see a portal of fire appear as he walks through and then it closes uh, and then for those of you that are looking out and have dark vision which I think is all of you now except for Lightbringer <laughs> which is hilarious <laughs> Uh, you all see a collapsed Lightbringer, uh, sort of gasping for air. What's that? Yeah, what's going on? Um. Lightbringer is unresponsive. Be, I'll have my healer be heal him. Um. Go ahead and roll it, but Lightbringer, you do come bag? back. Uh, no. to consciousness. Where is it? As you're coming to consciousness, <laughs> you are finding it hard to breathe. You grip your chest and you grip your neck at the same time and you're heaving. <laughs> Where is he? Where is he? Uh, Who the fuck was that, Lightbringer? He left. Who was that? Uh, Lightbringers, like trying to grab his uh, his claymore, and like use that support to try and get up. <laughs> Looking around like a like a frantic animal. I told you you were weak. <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! Um. No. I I look at uh, wait. I look outside and try to see what's happening. You okay out there? What, what's going on? All you see is Lightbringer, and you see a bunch of sand. Uh, I guess little like holes in the sand where people looked like they were fighting. 
I mean, you obviously saw the one gentleman as he was leaving, and you saw what he did, just essentially made a crushing gesture with his fist on Lightbringer, and then Lightbringer fell. Other than that, you have no information. Uh, at this point, like, uh, Lightbringer's just at a rage and he starts just slicing at the air. Just screaming. But he's clearly still in pain and barely able to breathe, but he's just still swinging anyway. And then eventually, uh, Jim wakes up, up from his sleep. <laughs> Babushka yeah. lets out a toot and then wakes up. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on? Is he yelling? Some, something? I, I, I don't know. Yelling? I think happened with Lightbringer. Yelling? Someone attacked him. How did he get out? How they? Wait, why'd you leave the hut? Who were you fighting? Uh, Lightbringer is just very wide-eyed. Like eyes are are glowing in his Goliath nature, but like he's still like heaving, and just. Fueled, fueled with like a rage, just angry, not responding. Well, uh, I know it's like been a traumatic. Him, let's go inside. Yeah, it's been a traumatic few few days or last couple of days, but like, I, just just try to get some sleep. We can we can talk about it in the morning. Exactly. Come. Does Lightbringer go into the hut? He, uh, lays outside. Just looking up. And eventually just collapses from the exhaustion. Okay. So Lightbringer falls asleep outside. He passed out. We drag him inside. Uh, it's all you guys. I can't help with that. I can't leave the hut. Babushka's strong well, enough I, to drag him. I grab him. Oh yeah, Babushka's <laughs> yeah. got him. And so Babushka, as you're uh, dragging him, uh, like there's a moment where like you sort of like grip him around the waist and try to like heave him up. And as that happens, like your eyesight to the oasis is completely blocked for a moment. But when he slumps down and you're able to look over his shoulders, you see this sort of ghostly looking figure of a Goliath girl staring at uh, Lightbringer, shaking her head. And as she turns around, she turns invisible and essentially ah. just vanishes. Oh, these old eyes. Turns around. <laughs> Goes inside with him. <laughs> I mean, tricks all mean shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. None of us in the could have seen that, was... right? It was just Babushka? Correct. Yeah. So Babushka, you drag Lightbringer back into the hut. And Lightbringer's breathing is heavy. Uh... It, slightly labored, but not enough to be concerning um, on whether he would make it through the night or not. He just needs some rest because long rests are nature's healing. Mm -hmm. uh, Lightbringer, at this point, you can roll your dice if you wish. Let's see, Babushka rolled. Oh, you're so weak after you just took an ancient dragon breath. Dude, it's been <laughs> a long day. <laughs> at least now I know you guys can handle one at least. That's pretty uh, cool. 
One. That's it. One. One and one and done. <laughs> Well, the rest of the night goes without incident. And eventually the dawn comes and uh, as the light greets you, uh, you all begin to wake up. Tiny Hut has like five minutes before it dissipates. Lightbringer is the last one to wake up out of all of you. Um, I'm going to roll nine die and it uh, automatically gets me to full. Okay. Because of durable. Ow, stop. You stop. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to do the same shit. <laughs> well, you stop it. Light to bring, or how are you feeling? Last night, man. You tell us what happened. There's a lot of screaming. We saw a dude that warned you to get stronger. And said he'll be back. That was from the card I drew. Oh. oh no. An archdevil has taken a certain interest in me. Came to collect me specifically. Warned me that he'll be back. Mark. It was get man, me. not a woman. I, I don't know. He attacked me. She, it, he attacked me. My uh, lightbringer's just clenching his fists and just knuckles cracking. I'm a little bit stronger. And those voices. And he like uh puts both his hands on his head. Those god damn voices. Why? Why? Just leave me alone. I, uh, oh, go on. He just gets up and prepares to walk off. You all figure out where we're going. I'll catch up. And uh, he goes out. Uh, is a hut still up or did it go down already? Oh, it's gone. Um, right. yeah, it's gone. All right, he, uh, grabs his claymore that's, like, stuck inside the, inside the sand. And just walks off and just off to himself. Uh, I kind of say, we're going into town, probably going to go check out, you know, bazaar or something. Maybe a hotel or in an inn. Uh, I bring her just uh, still walking in a direction he's walking, just uh, waves waves back, puts a hand up. Hey. Let's head into town then. Okay. 
as uh, as we're heading into town, I want to pull Trina inside and say, uh, "Does he do this often?" Oh wait, no. Wait, no. You guys have you met him before I did, so yeah, I, don't I wouldn't know. ask that. Uh, I go up to Jim. Does he do this often? I've known him about as long as you have, Top Tier. Okay, just clarifying. Okie dokie. Well. So as you guys are uh, traveling uh, towards the trade city of Krago, um, you notice that the, from what you can tell, the city doesn't actually have like any type of walls, uh, at least from what it's perceived at this distance. And it looks to be like a bunch of like tiny houses all essentially like put together stacked on top of each other um creating this huge sort of metropolis of just places for people to live uh the closer you get the more you see how far this actually spreads out uh between what you assume is the center of the city uh being this really tall tower in the very center and then it's sort of like uh, the buildings get shorter and shorter as they branch out to where it's a lot of canopies and huts and uh, sort of carts and like trade carts and stuff like that on the outskirts. You can tell that uh, people are starting uh, to get a move on in the city. Um, the sun isn't completely up just yet. It's starting to just peer over the horizon. Um, but you can see that they're giving, uh, items out of their, uh, like onto their, uh, shop shelves and things like that, that they've got, uh, people are starting to mount up on their camels and head towards, uh, the oasis, uh, with a bunch of buckets of water. Is there any particular location that the party is trying to get to? Um, just, uh, towards the bazaar slash the inn. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, uh, as you're looking around, uh, someone notices you. Uh, sort of looking confused and they come up well howdy stranger looking for something in particular perhaps I can help you for a coin what and it's this old gentleman in rags uh, really dark skin definitely sunburnt pretty much or tan uh, beyond belief uh, very scrawny probably hasn't had a full meal in weeks I could take you around the city if you'd like. But that cost you a little extra. Otherwise, directions will do. Uh, Just a copper to tie it over this old man. I, uh, Perhaps I, a silver if you're really feeling generous to feed his family. Over. Or a gold if you wish to make this man's weak. A platinum if you're truly royalty. I'll hand him a silver. Oh, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Hand now, the what is it I can help you? <laughs> she, oh. Oh. And he starts to munch on it. That's really good. Oh, my God. And you can see tears start to stream down his face. Oh, that's so good. Anything you need, I, I'll show you the way. I promise. Looking Where are you trying to go? Day. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess it really depends on your budget. Are you trying to spend a lot of money? Not a lot of money? Or hardly any money? A lot of In money. In the middle. 
lot of money. Oh wait, a little well, medium amount of money. Medium amount of money. Mm -hmm. So modest folk, but you don't like living in the slums. I understand. Not a good place to be, especially in a city like this, where money is what gets you power. I'll show you. I'll show you the way. Follow me, please. And as he starts to uh, essentially walk towards the center of town, you notice that the way all of these houses are built, the houses themselves essentially have become the walls of the city. So instead of building actual defenses, it's the townsfolk that protect the inner portions um, of the city. And there's various alleyways that uh, he takes you through in order to get past uh, this first like layer. Um, and once you get on the other side, you can see that uh, the roads are pretty much uh, dirt or rather sand, uh, hard clay, things like that. The, these parts is the slums. We don't want to linger here for too long now. And he continues to mosey on through, uh, bringing you guys closer to the central tower. You go through another sort of wall of houses, uh, and you get to where it's uh, sort of laid out in cobblestone. Um, paved roads, the shops and the decorations are a lot nicer, but they're not like bougie. Um, and he starts to take you around uh, portions of the street and he kind of points out some various shops that you might be interested in. He's like, oh, there's an alchemist there, an herbalist over there. Uh, that guy's the best butcher in the town, uh, even better than the inner portion of the city. Um, and there's, you know, the stuff there, there, there. Uh, but eventually he gets to uh, one of the more, I guess, one of the larger buildings. Uh, there's a stable right next to it, which houses a lot of different uh, camels and some horses and actually a couple of elephants as well. But he's like, well, here you go. This here is the unwritten cushion inn. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You've made this man very happy for the day. I thank you very kindly. My family's going to actually be able to eat today. Can I ask you a few questions? I also need some information. Mm -hmm. I also if you wouldn't mind parting with more of your, your coin, I could do that. Otherwise, i got to go find... Find some more customers. I, uh, I talk to money silver. in this town. Oh, two days. And tears start to stream down his face. <laughs> two days. Ask whatever so, you wish. So, uh, before we start, what, what was your name again? Uh, you really want to know this old man name? Uh, yeah, <laughs> no one yeah. ever has this old man name. My name's Glef. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Dwarf. <laughs> Two days and someone wants to know my name. Oh, this is uh, very emotional. Oh, it's alright. Sorry. I'm so sorry. It, it, that can't be all you want to know is my name. He wants no. to know my name. Uh, I need some other information too. Um, he's like visibly breaking down. He's actually on his knees at this point. Hands, <laughs> face in his so hands. Crap. He's like, I can't believe somebody acknowledged Glyph. <laughs> it's, 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 okay. it's okay. I'm trying to awkwardly get him up. It's okay. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Dude, don't worry. Um, and as you're looking around, or at least as the party is looking around, you can see people are sort of scowling towards you guys. Uh, I, I also ask him, okay, so this is what I really need to ask. Um, we're in the nomadic conclave territory, yes? And... Yes. There... Are you familiar with anybody that... That, uh... Anybody in the blood, blood sand plateau? 
And he kind of looks up at you and he starts to, um, start to wipe his eyes like, why would you ever want to go over there? Well, Nothing but haunted somebody. memories and death. There's an individual. Um, who do you know that, that may have a bad reputation over there? There's plenty of folk. There's nomadic tribes of orcs and such that pretty much claim the plateaus as their own, although they don't really have any type of way to defend it. But the sand, the sand is rich. Rich and able to cultivate all types of herbs and fruits, vegetables. But the thing is, if you try to collect it and take it away, it turns into mundane clay. Not good for farming at all. I don't Would know you... exactly what's going on, but there's there's talks that there's there's powerful creatures of your imagination that live on the Blood Plain Plateau. And that there. Um is there any rumors of a genie that live out there? There's genie all over the sands. And he named Isharam Al Fadir. He kind of shrugs and he's like, "I'll be honest. Not many folks tell me stories. Not many folks ask a man's name." It's okay, Glef. Glef. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm Glef. He what? He remembered my name. It is, it's okay. Would you would you know anybody that would know anything about the area, like genies and whatnot? If his eyes is like, eh, perhaps maybe uh, there's folks older than poor Glef that are a little more connected to the city than I is, but I don't I don't know I don't ever get to get into the inner portions. I'm not allowed after all. I'm not high enough class. Sometimes I'm not even allowed in the inner portions of the city or the middle portions of the city. So, uh, uh, the innkeeper, innkeeper would know someone better. Okay. Well, um, and would the innkeeper also know any, 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 uh, potential like work in the city? I'm sure he's got something for you. But if you ever wanted actual work, the uh, the guard post in the city usually have uh, wanted boards, usually for thieves and such. You could possibly go and catch a reward, become bounty hunters if you wish. Okay, I'll well, keep that in mind. Thank you, thank you. Do um, you uh, know of any hags? In the maybe area? if there was a, a, a coin or two. I pull out a platinum piece. Uh, this man! <laughs> this man! Ah! And he starts to bawl and just cry. And he goes up. He falls on his knees to get to your level. And he's just hugging you. He's like, and he's kissing your shoulder and your neck and stuff. He's like, this man! He saved Glef and his family. This oh, looks like ten days' wage for a high-earning citizen. So, yes, go to Madame Clementine. She can help you find who it is you're looking for. She knows everybody in this city. Lucky, Madame Clementine. I flip it up with my finger. And aim for a drain somewhere. I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, Madam Clementine, be careful with that one, though. She's always looking for a bargain, for information. A, a secret for a secret, I believe, is how she operates. And most of the time... The folks that come into her uh, warm embrace 
They usually don't leave the same. This man thanks you. Ah! And he begins to hug you even more and tighter. And he's like, I have to go now. I'm sorry. I wish I could answer more questions. I'm so greatly appreciative of what you did. I, I gotta go buy my family back. Thank you so much. And he starts to run towards the uh, slums. I, uh, I look to Jim and say, uh, that may have been a mistake. Uh, this city is full of urchins and that often disguise themselves as, uh, you know, beggars and whatnot. So Meh. it also may come back to bite us. He may mark us as a, as a potential high value target. If others might come for us now. Let them come. And as you're saying that Tulp tier probably casting glances, you do see there's quite a few folks that are staring in your direction. Yes, yeah, best to keep until like a silver at max. Uh, oh boy. Well, what's done is done. I'll do what. He gets to buy his family, Mick. Good yeah, boy. quote unquote family. We'll see if that's true or not. Well, we got a whole lot more here. Yeah. Hello? Oh yeah. Well, if you guys wish to RP, uh, this is essentially where we're going to end it for the night. I have so many platinum pieces. Oh, yeah. You How many? Sure. Like five. That's you have five platinum pieces? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm good for my... you. Good for you, yeah. <laughs> We're happy for you. Oh! Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying he doesn't come back. I, uh, look left and right and whisper, 250. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That's just a small, measly, not five. Nah, barely worth anything. You can't even buy airship. Speaking of which, should we feel bad about that gnome? Those gnomes? <laughs> Fuck that guy. They got new airships. No. That's fine. They're alive. Uh, right? They, sure they got new airships? I mean. Oh, they're dead for sure. Or they're, they're serving fine. the dragons. So, you know what? Whatever. If anything, if Lilith is feeling particularly generous, she may have saved Hexana and by extension her brother, but. I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I'm... You know, I'm just gonna put everything that happened on that island out of my mind. Never worry about it again. Same. I just don't want to have to think about that island again. All right. Yeah. Well, I guess if that's all, uh, then, yeah, that's where we will end tonight's session. I am going to go into my stream, and I'll be right back. All right. Wonderful stuff. Really good RP. Uh, yeah, the whole <laughs> Lilith coercing the dragon to attack them, that was pretty funny. Uh, I mean, her motivation is very simple. She likes to see people suffer like hags do. Even though she's not a hag, technically she's a witch. But regardless, um, the fact that the party had drawn so many good luck cards and not a lot of cards that made them suffer, uh, that irked her. As the keeper of the deck, she doesn't like that. So... Yeah, that was pretty much her motivations for trying to get that. And it actually kind of played out. I didn't actually expect them to go. I figured me telling them enough about the Kolbobs, they would advise against going and just leave. Because they were talking about just leaving. 
But I don't know if uh, sometimes when I'm bringing stuff up, if they don't want to like not do it because they don't want to disappoint me or whatever, or feel like I've wasted my time, uh, probably have to have a talk with them, make sure. But regardless, we got to see Nimra, one of my favorite dragons, y'all. I love Nimra. She's dope. Uh, but yeah, very good uh, RP from Lightbringer today. Um, that was really good. Uh, especially when he did like the shut up stuff, like he's definitely going off the deep end with the character in terms of like the character is feeling this emotional trauma. It's lovely. So, but anyway, thank you anyone and everyone that came out. Hopefully you had a good time and until we see you next time, peace.